Now back to some uh, domestic political news and following last month's by-election defeat, crushing defeat, Korea's main opposition party has been left without a leader, rudderless, and is not likely to have one until at least uh, next year's party convention. That will be early next year. For the time being, interim leader Park Yong-san is at the helm and she's promising a clean break from the past. Now, Jim Young gil reports. Park Yong Sun, who is serving as both the full leader of the main opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy and the interim chief of its emergency committee, has been tasked with rebuilding and reforming the party. The committee will carry out a set of reforms until a new leadership is selected early next year. Our party will select members for the emergency committee from both inside and out of the party. The public can also make recommendations through Twitter, Facebook or our party's website. The committee will function as the main opposition's executive branch until a party convention next year, sometime before March. There, officials will pick the party's new chairman, secretary general and other senior executives. In her new role, Park, a three-term lawmaker, is faced with the arduous task of finding a way to unify different factions within the party and forging a new path. The future of the New Politics Alliance for Democracy depends on how well we extricate ourselves from old customs and old politics. The pro nomuyon arm once held the lion's share of power, but was weakened following the defeat of former presidential hopeful Moon Jae-in, a key pro no figure, in the 2012 presidential election. Pundits say that the pro no faction is now likely to make a comeback. The main opposition party has been in a state of turmoil since its defeat in last week's parliamentary by-elections. The party won just four of the 15 parliamentary seats up for grabs, prompting party co-leaders Kim Mang-gil and An Cho su to step down to take responsibility. Kim Young-gil, Arirang News.